Constitutional reform won't prevent abortions, definitely, but will put women in a condition of doing these things without information and alone. When you are forced to be pregnant, your only way is to find clandestine methods to interrupt your pregnancy. I personally know women who have used clothes hangers to interrupt pregnancies. That means that if I am raped, I cannot have an abortion. If I have cancer and I need a treatment, I cannot have it because doctors will prioritize my pregnancy instead of my life. Also, the emergency contraception is prohibited in Honduras because the government believes that it's an abortion pill and it's not. I know women who are right now facing criminal trials because they are persecuted for having an abortion. Women right now have not access to sexual education in Honduras. They don't have access to contraceptive. A precedent like this cannot happen in the 21st century. The public opinion right now in Honduras, I mean, if you're pregnant and you want to finish your pregnancy right now, you will feel embarrassed or you won't go and find the doctor or you won't have the money to go to a private hospital to have the procedure. So that means that it will put you in more danger. The churches, the bad call pro-life movement that are behind these actions are not the ones that are accompanying victims of sexual aggressions, victims of rape. is the feminist organizations in the country, the human rights organizations in the country that are actually providing psychological services, legal services, socioeconomic services to these victims of the prohibition. Argentina, it gives us hope, you know, it gives us energy. It's a message for us that we are not alone in this fight for reproductive justice for women. We are women, we are humans, and we deserve dignity as much as any other country in the world.